R.I.P. to the competition. Hey, what's good guys, it's your boy Diesel. Today we're back again another video. You guys already seen the unboxing. Um, now we're gonna go with the detailed review of the shoe. So starting off with the traction. We have a translucent outsole. From heel, from heel to forefoot. We have a fish scale pattern traction. Now, is this gonna work? I don't know, I haven't tried it, but it looks like it does I know it's gonna work indoors outdoors I highly doubt that this is gonna last you guys uh, playing this um, type of rubber and outdoor condition um, we could see the uh, bottom loaded zoom air unit right there as far as I know there's none on the heel moving on to the midsole we got full phylon right here on the midsole speckled um, design for the shining colorway and then you got number 13 in the back Paul George's number moving up we have a mesh upper right here on the uh, forefoot area and we have an overlay of fused fuse overlay right here for the mesh I like this type of fuse material than the other fuse material because this is um, kind of softer like it doesn't feel like plastic like on some of the hyper fuse um, materials that they that Nike had before so if this is how soft the mesh is this is a little bit harder but not as hard or plasticky as the hyperfuse moving up on the medial side is still mesh but on the outer side we have outer side going all the way to the back is actually leather now I know this is leather right here I know this is leather but for some reason man it just feels like a new buck like when I touch it like the way I'm looking at the camera right now and how it's uh, how it's looking in the camera and the way it looks in person is just way different. Let me zoom. Uh, let me. Uh, there you go. It's just way different. It's a. I know. I know for a fact it's leather, but it just feels like new buck, man. For some reason. All right, we got uh, for the check mark. We got like an iridescent type check mark, same as with the uh, lace holes on this one right here. Like on some angles, it looks like iridescent as well. Same as uh, with the pull tab, you got the iridescent look, and also the uh, PG logo. That's like a uh, ribbon. I think the mean I forgot I think the meaning of that is um, present um, which is his daughter right here that's what the date means right here 5 1 15 that's when uh, his daughter uh, came, I mean uh, was born and on the other side I believe is Paul George's birthday so uh, look at that as 
Paul George is the second year 9090 and her daughter is 5 1 2015 so a day before his birthday for year 2015 his daughter was born so I get I, I really think that's the reason why this is a ribbon because uh, he views his daughter as his gift so um, forgot to mention the uh, the strap right here on the forefoot area so it's its main tech is the uh, fly wire right here and I can tell you right now it works man like when you tighten this up I know you guys can see it through but when you tighten this up like it really pulls right here it really pulls it right there I don't know if you guys can see it see that so if I pull it tighten that up that really uh, locks you down on the forefoot area so um, the fit you guys are gonna have a hard if you go through the size you guys are gonna have a hard time putting this on um, just based on experience I put them on I tried them on and uh, so I, I would know what to tell you guys um, when I'm doing the video so I tried them on and walked around on them and um, I can tell you right now go through the size go through the size if you got like a normal foot um, the reason why I say that is because I don't have a normal foot anymore um, I just had surgery on my left foot and now my left foot is actually um, kind of bigger um, than my right foot because the way my left foot sits if these were if, minus my thumb right so if these were your uh, uh, your toes right here these were your toes you know that uh, little bulge that your uh, feet has where your small well you, where your metatarsals meet the the club area of the feet like that so my left foot right now is bigger than it used to be so instead of flat right now it's like that a little bit so there's like an, a big arch to it so I really think if you have a high arch foot on that area uh, go a half size up but if you don't um, just stick with your true to size um, what else should I compare this to oh here I brought my favorite pair of shoes out so I could compare it with this one and someone very credible also mentioned that he could compare it to the same uh, shoes as my favorite shoes and they are the uh, Kobe 5's so yes on the forefoot area they do fit the same but I can tell you right now on the heel area this one holds it better PG1 holds it better also I think that's where the comparison ends uh, the grip on the forefoot area because why do I say why do I say that is because this is way flexible than this one I can't even this is too thick right here but it does play a role in protecting you from uh, rolling over but for me who has been injured already and don't have a normal foot anymore I can't do this hard um, flexing as I could with my right with my uh, right foot but yeah um, if you haven't tried this one yet um, I know this one was very limited to uh, oh this one also the numbers 661 is his uh, I think this was the area code for uh, his uh, birthplace or hometown in LA or uh, oh Palmdale Palmdale California 90 is his uh, birth year 317 I think that's the uh, that's his area code 
to where he is now in. So this was Eric. My bad, my bad. Let's backtrack real quick. 661. Eric codes for Palmdale. 90, his birth year. 317, area code for in for his uh, residence in Indiana. And the last digits right here um, indicates the number, your numbered pair, your numbered personal pair for this colorway. They said they only had like 12,000 of these. So um, mine is in this number. Yeah, so that's it guys. But uh, PG1s. Pretty good, uh, pretty good ass shoe. On foot video coming right up. If you guys haven't done so yet, subscribe to my video. Peace out, guys. I'll see you later.